The wife had an obsession about going to confession and it was a sort of puzzle to know. For her Kate had the cheek each day in the week. If they were on, I believe she would go. Now it wasn't much fun figuring out what she'd done. Would she be thinking she would maybe soon die? Or was it just her old brain slowly going and saying? I couldn't help wondering why. And I must admit that the sins she's committed have to be her dark secrets in life. She's maybe putting things straight before it's too late. Or is there another side to the wife? Like, religion's a thing much good it can bring. Those small doses for me is enough. Like, till you two gospel greedy, you could go blind to the needy. Then it's only yourself that you blow. Now, this is no joke. I'm the sort of bloke not religious in any way. I respect every fella, black, white, green or yellow. No matter what prayers they may say. And the wife was a right creator. You would have went far to beat her with a heart of pure solid gold. But since this sudden change is acting so strange, could it be she's just getting now? And I'm getting scundered as lately I've wondered what the hell is happening to us. Once two loving hearts are now drifting apart, <coughs> could it be the results of a course? And I was getting downhearted, you see, on me she had started to go to confessions as well. So the labour contented, at last I consented, though I knew I had not hunted her. So next weekend I went and five minutes I spent in the box with the priest old and frail. And boys, I started shaking with fear I was quaking. It was as if I was going to jail. <laughs> and then do you know, in a voice soft and low, says the priest as he stared straight at me, are we home to kit? You have enough on your plate. There's problems at home, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> for God knows that it's sad that your wife has gone mad. May you forgive me for what I now say. She gets on my nerves. It's hell she deserves. <laughs> Confessing the same sins every day. <laughs> well, I couldn't wait till I was going through her week yet. And there she was, leaning again the half doer. Well now, John, how did you get on? I suppose not well, I'm sure. For I've often told you, and you get cross when I scold you. Tis a pity your faith is so weak. I suppose now you see you'll be better like me and go to confessions each week. <laughs> well, says I, my dear Kate, this news I'll relate, and it's best that you listen well. The priest himself says you don't change your ways. It's you that's heading to hell. And I swear this is true, what he said about you. I went pale and feeling quite faint. He says you're on civil, he thinks you're the devil. And it's me who's almost a saint. <laughs> <laughs> well, she pulled on or coked on two veins, risen or throat. <laughs> and she pushed my side in the porch. And from whatever was said between her and old father Ned, she now neither stands near mass meeting nor church. <laughs>